Welcome to Living in SATV. Uh, like I promised, today we are inside of Campton Park Hospital, probably one of the most haunted places in South Africa. So I want to show you guys a little bit um, the place and tell you a little bit about the history. Let's explore a little bit and see what we can find. Let's find out if this place is it is like spooky as it looks. Cheers, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Now the, the exploring this place, I'm here with Shane Robinson. Don't forget to check his channel. This guy is amazing the way he does the videos. So Shane, give us a, like a shout out. Hey Joburg, how are you guys doing? So at the Kempton Park Hospital today, thanks to David so much for organizing. I've been dying to get back in. Yeah, I was here, 2009 was the last time. Desperate to get back inside and show you guys what's going down and give you a little bit of an update of what's actually happening government-wise with this place. Yeah, so let's do it. I'm gonna start now. <laughs> We are in front of the main entrance of Campton Park Hospital. Oh. Half expect zombies to jump out of the <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Walking Dead. And see? Da -da -da. It's unbelievable. It's been this thing has been closed since nineteen ninety six. So, um, yeah, I'm going to start, we're going to the morgue now and see what's popping there. Of the dark alleys around here and I don't see any light. I don't see any light. You know what? Do you guys want to go there or what? Trying to go to the roof now. <laughs> guys, we have some light here. No, this seems to be just uh, offices and stuff like that. Yeah, here at school. <laughs> no smoking. And here... No, this is another room. Nothing special. Bloody... Spooky doll, let me open this. Okay. Nothing much about it. Shane, you're pushing, man. Where are you? Oh, you here. Everyone is pushing, actually. Be honest, there is nothing spooky about this place. Yeah, this is supposed to be one of the main entrances. Uh, guys, just to have an idea that this place is like in touch, just look at that date. Nineteenth of August, eighty-six. Thank you. Woo. 
David coming through! Woo! On you! Eh, not bad. To this post apocalyptic hospital. The only thing you can hear here is basically silence. I'm just not gonna ask. Is anybody home? This place is empty, huh? Especially if someone walks through it for you. Yeah. Let's see if we can find any satanic stuff. Talk, talk. I don't know, this was supposed to be what, like a waiting room or... Hmm. Nobody for the doctor, please? Anyone? Doctor? <laughs> Some special effects. My <laughs> smoke machine's broken down. <laughs> ah, one more time. Ooh, spooky. Oh. Don't shoot me, man. Don't shoot me. Well, if you guys have played like games like Left 4 Dead or Max Payne 2 or something like that, uh, yeah. This is the place of your dreams. Ghostbusters! David doing some weird shit, as usual. Yeah, guys, by any chance, don't come here alone because you feel like, yeah, it's not a like a place to be. Just come, come with your buddies, and uh, yeah, this is not for the faint of heart. <laughs> Eat, love, life. Ah, uh, okay. I know. Uh, eight. No, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, guys, we are in the roof at the moment. So... Shit. Finally, guys, we are in the roof! Essentially, we can even go further up. Okay. Yeah, 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 dude, open your arms. Yeah, I'm the king of the world. <laughs> I'm going into cardiac arrest. <laughs> Gosh, no way. Yeah, the funny thing, you are in the hospital, so. Yeah, man, this is a great place for guys who actually play or do parkour to come here. So, guys, I just want to see, show you how. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> this is another...
guys have to feel about this place is like the wind, uh, pigeons, r mice or rats or whatever. Uh, That's basically it. Uh, okay, we're doing this during the day, I know, but um, you know, it's kind of an amazing experience. We are enjoying it. Wanna tell everybody Hey if you guys find like a ghostly just let me know okay Hey does someone need a loo or something? Got a toilet here. Ooh, yeah. I need a doctor. I need a doctor. Pigeons. Like I said, a lot of pigeons in this building. We can see, we can hear noises. Hey, Mark. Guys, don't make noises. You guys need some towels? No. I think not. Uh, this is interesting. Swimming pool. Eh, look at the swimming pool. Eesh. Okay, we're going to that entrance now. Got this little motor or rotor or engine or whatever the thing is. Ah, uh, so this is the old... The old machine house, I guess? Not sure. Seems like that someone was sleeping around here. Just watch your step. Shit, another hole. I don't know how... How high I am, but... Yeah, this is what they call move on, move up in life, huh? <laughs> no, but look, you come, come, come here because you got some uh, nice, yeah, nice view from here. You can see the the power plant. Oh, okay. And all, it's cool. Pulled, um... Hey, look, another pool. Oh, ah, pool look one. at that. Then that's a jacuzzi. Another side of the hospital, of the hospital at the moment. So. Uh... Ooh. It's probably the the old kitchen, I don't know. You guys can see we have some satanic pentagon what are you called pentagrams yeah that's some stuff so actually I don't see anything like you know trying to do like some human sacrifices or animal sacrifices around here but uh, hmm, interesting tuk, tuk, tuk.
Damn it. I think I did my workout for the week. Nah, forget about it. What? <laughs> it went bang as I was like about to have a run. Shit. Just be careful. You old derelict desserts and car station. The moment I'm at the, at the highest point of Kevin Park. We got some mad views around here, as you guys can see. The department committed itself to rebuilding this nine story structure, which accommodated up to 350 beds in its heyday. However, nothing has happened, and the reconstruction of the Kempton Park Hospital remains a dream as the government continues to delay the 244 million rand revamp that should have been completed three years ago. The reopening of its doors would have eased the high inflow of patients at the nearby Tembisa and Edenvale hospitals in Ekoleni. The department said construction would start in March 2013 and was to have been completed by July 2014. We're now in 2018. At the time, the department said the hospital was closed in 1996 because of the low patient intake. In November 2016, then Health MEC Kudani Mkhlangu said the hospital would be demolished for renovations by January, but this too did not materialize. With the current political climate in South Africa, it is looking less likely that this facility will actually get the attention that it deserves, and that means, unfortunately, that the people that it could have helped and the people that it could be helping will continue to have to keep going further afield to get the help that they desperately need. Hey guys, let's do a picnic. We are like in the basement. Uh, everything is like flooded and stuff. So, uh, I don't know. Let's find out. See so what else can we find. <laughs>